Good morning everybody. Today we will discuss Cayley-Hamilton theorem. The statement is every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation. Now, in the proof, let I am taking a square matrix A of order n by n, A i j of order n by n. After that, I am taking expansion of this one now, expansion of A matrix. That is A11, first row elements, A11, A12, A1n. Now, second row elements, A21, A22, and continuation A2n. And the same process, last row A1n, N1, A, N2 and continuation A, N, N. Now after that now, A minus lambda I equal, lambda I am calculating A minus lambda I. That is now, you know A value here, I is a unit matrix, unit matrix is always a square matrix and multiplying by lambda now. By multiplying a scalar value, it is becomes scalar matrix now. Now I am subtracting both now. The values are A11 minus lambda, A12 and continuation A11 now. And next A21, A22 minus lambda, A2n now. And the next continuation the same process a n 1 a n 2 and a n n minus lambda now total it is matrix value now now after that now data of a minus lambda equal lambda a value i am calculating characteristic equation of this matrix now now you get a equation in terms of lambda now now because here lambda is there now and I observe lambda coefficient is 1 now. Everywhere lambda coefficient is 1. Now therefore and uh, it is nth order now. Now it is minus is repeated now n number of times. If n is even number you get plus value and the odd number it is minus. Therefore minus 1 power n into minus 1 power n and the lambda coefficient is 1. Uh, don't take sign uh, now coefficient is 1 therefore lambda power n here one value you get coefficient as 1 because lambda coefficient is 1 now next a1 into lambda power n minus 1 and a2 into lambda power n minus 2 and continuation a n now now it is a value now after that next I am calculating adjoint of a minus lambda I now a minus lambda I. again you get a matrix in terms of lambdas now therefore maximum in a matrix in this matrix lambda power in a minus lambda I lambda power is at most 1 at most 1 1 or less than now now in this one it is nth order matrix now now therefore when you are calc for uh, calculating cofactors generally we remove one row and one column therefore definitely lambda power highest power is becomes now n minus 1 and less values now therefore here we are taking such values now the values a naught into lambda power n minus 1 1 power is less now next b1 lambda power n minus 2 b2 lambda power n minus 3 and continuation last one is b n minus 1 now like this now, now we have a formula in matrix a into adjoint a it is nothing but now that a into i now 
Now put in place of a a minus lambda i now. Now it is becomes a minus lambda i adjoint of a minus lambda i equal to you know det a value now det a det of a minus lambda i into again i it is a polynomial it is not matrix just it is a polynomial therefore into i now now write the value now a minus lambda i into entire adjoint matrix that is b naught into lambda power n minus 1 b1 into lambda power n minus 2 and continuation bn minus 1 equal to debt value now debt of a minus lambda i now it is minus 1 power n lambda power n a1 into lambda power n minus 1 plus a2 into lambda power n minus 2 and a n into again you get lab i unit matrix now now here i am comparing lambda power n coefficients now now here i am taking lambda power n coefficient okay in previous equation observe this equation when you are multiplying lambda with lambda power n minus y definitely you get lambda power n now now therefore unit matrix into another matrix b naught therefore you get minus b naught equal to in this one now minus 1 power n into i Therefore, it is nothing but now unit matrix I minus 1 power n into I now. Next, lambda power n minus 1 coefficient. Lambda power n minus 1 coefficient now. Now, observe the values now. Now, now when you are multiplying lambda with lambda power n minus 2, product is definitely uh, n minus 1 and again a naught a into b naught is also having same lambda power n minus 1 therefore you get first value as a positive value that is a b naught and the next product of these two is minus now minus b1 equal to in this rhs minus 1 power n a1 into i now okay we have minus one a1 and a unit matrix also the same a power lambda power n minus 2 coefficient lambda power n minus 2 coefficient what happens now in this one now again now a into b1 and lambda into next element b2 into lambda power n minus 3 you in this expansion you get somewhere now now therefore it is now a into b1 minus next element element now b2 now okay equal to minus 1 power n a2 into i now like this now in the continuation process you get each and every step similarly now now we want to add all these equations now now observe here b naught coefficient is my 1 in here and b naught coefficient is a if you multiple first equation with a what happens now both coefficients both terms are similar and it is cancelled now one is positive one is negative cancel now. now in the same version now when you are when you are want to cancel b1 value observe b1 coefficient in next equation a now here we want again a now therefore here we want to multiply with a when you are multiplying with a the power becomes 2 okay now therefore here we want to multiply with 2 therefore here you get such equations n times now now therefore multiplying if it is first equation if it is second equation third equation therefore equation 1 into a power n plus 
equation 2 into a power n minus 1 plus equation 3 into a power n minus 2 and continuation now. Now what happens now? Minus a power n into b naught next plus a power n into b naught minus a power n minus 1 into b1 next a power n minus 1 into b1 minus a power n minus 2 into b2 and continuation process you get similar steps now and in this one minus 1 power n okay what happens here a power n into i minus 1 power n is common value next a1 into lambda power n minus 1 into i next a2 into a power n minus 2 into i and continuation in left hand side all values are cancelled now one value is positive negative positive negative cancel now. therefore you get minus 1 power n into all LHS is cancelled now a power n into multiplying with the unit matrix therefore you get same value now a1 into a power n minus 1 a2 into a power n minus 2 and continuation last a n into equal to 0 now minus 1 power n okay now here observe the equation now now if you observe the equation now in characteristic equation we have minus 1 power n into lambda power n like this equation now now here instead of in place of lambda we have a now that means here it is a matrix satisfying characteristic equation now therefore what is the kelly selman hamilton theorem every every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation is always true thank you for watching my video